Hey YouTube, this is a tutorial on how to turn your USB controller into a mouse. You're going to need two things. First off, you're going to need your USB controller plugged in and already installed on your computer. Then you're going to need XPatter 5.3. I have the link for XPatter below in the description. Just follow along and you'll be doing fine in no time. First thing I want you to do is go to your desktop, right click and create a new folder. Call it XPatter. Once you have your folder, go down to the description and click on the link for XPatter 5.3 last freeware version. It'll take you to this website. It is freewarefiles.com. If you see right here, it says download now. Click this link. It'll take you to this page. If you see over to the right, it says Freeware Files Mirror US. If you click that link, it'll open up the download. It is a zip file, so you'll need WinRAR, WinZip. I use AlZip. I mean, you can just Google it if you don't have it. But once you have it, click OK. Now you're going to want to extract, or click the extract button here. Then you're going to want to select that folder we created on the desktop. So all the way down at the bottom, you'll see XPatter. Click that folder, then click Extract. Alright, now you can X out of everything. Now I want you to go into that XPatter folder, and you'll see this little controller here. Double click it. You probably won't see this. It'll probably just come up to this window for you. So you'll click Start, uh, Program Location, Associate. Now, to start using XPatter, you have to click this controller and click New. First thing we want to do is define everything on the controller. So we'll start with the sticks. Uh, click Enable. I mean, if you don't have any sticks, don't worry about this part. I'm imagining you do have a D-pad though at least. I just did stick one. When you click enabled, it'll ask you to push left on the stick. This is the right stick. Now this is all defined. Now go to D-pad, click it, click enabled. It'll ask you to define it by pressing up, down, left, right. Now buttons. All you have to do is push every button there is on the uh, controller. Once you have that, if you have any triggers, I don't, you can use that. Go to finish, click close. Now, I generally use the uh, right thumbstick here. You can see it's lighting up. That's because I'm moving it around. I use that for the mouse, so this is up. You see it highlights green. If you click it, you'll see over here this is the mouse in this area. What you're doing is is uh, you're defining with this program that when you hit up on this joyce the joystick on the controller, it'll almost simulate that you're moving the mouse up. So since I clicked up, I'm going to click here. You'll see it says move mouse up, and I'm just going to do that for every direction. Now generally I like to put the uh, left and right mouse click almost on the RB and RT of the Xbox 360 controller. So RB I'm going to make left click. And that's right here. Left mouse button. And I make uh, RT the uh, right click. Now I am moving around with the controller. This is just a neat little trick in case uh, your mouse breaks. Or uh, I used to use this on a laptop to sit back on the couch and move it with the controller just because I'm a lazy fat ass. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check back for more.